Hello everyone, this is Abiela David. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to calculate the total working days excluding weekends and holidays using the Power Query. Let's get started. In our sample data, we have the 1st of January 2020 to 31st of December 2020. In this example, we're going to use Nigeria as our case study. Therefore, we have this list of dates which are official holidays in Nigeria, which we want to exclude, including the weekends. Now, we need to get this data into the Power Query Editor to clean or transform. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to format the data in an Excel table. So, I'm going to do Control T, having click inside the data set. Then, in the Create Table dialog box, my table as headers has been checked. So, I'm going to click on OK. So, the data has been formatted in an Excel table. Next, I'm going to click on the Data tab. Under the get and transform data group, we have the from table for slash range. So I click on that and that's power query editor where we can do some cleaning and transformation. Now I'm going to do a simple transformation. I'm going to click on this data type. Instead of having the date time, I want only date. So I'm going to click on date and click on replace current or add a new step anywhere that is convenient. Now this is ready. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on the close and load tool. Import data dialog box. So I only want to create a connection. So click on only create connection and hit the OK button. And that opens the queries and connection tax pane. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, instead of just doing Ctrl T and going to the data tab, I'm going to just click inside this data, right click, because I'm using Microsoft 365. So we have this new feature, which is get data from table for slash range. So when I click OK, it will automatically load the data into the Power Query Editor, where we can do, of course, some cleaning and transformation, and then we can create margin of our queries now when i open this tax pane we can see the two tables loaded again we want to transform this to only display date data type and we want to replace the current so i click on replace current and you can see the steps generated no problem now the next thing i'm going to do is to match the queries now usually in the home tab we have the match queries under the combine group so i'm going to show you another way to do that just just click on this little table to the left and we have the merge query and that opens the merge dialog box now we have to select a table and matching columns to create a matched table now this is what is called a vlookup or a snowflake margin so this is the table two so i'm going to check this date and click on this drop down so i want table one which are my holidays so i'm going to connect it to this so we have the selection matches one one of three six six rows from the first table now we need to specify the specific join kind we want so i don't want left outer join i want the left hand time which shows rows only in the first and that will exclude 11 which are all the dates that falls under the holidays so click on ok amazing so it shows this table so we don't need this i'm going to just right click and choose remove and the column is removed now you can see that it has excluded the 1st of january 2020 which falls as one of the 11 holidays in nigeria so the next thing i'm going to do is to also remove all the weekends which are saturdays and sundays now and under the from date and time group, we have the date. Click on that. And we want day and name of day. So we can see the name of each of the days. So the 2nd of January 2020 is on Thursdays. And we have some Saturdays and Sundays. So I'm going to just click on this filter button. Now we can actually, we can actually do the filtering from here. But we can do the same thing from text filter. I want to do does not contain... So click on that and so i'm going to select this drop down and i want to choose saturday and select this also it does not contain then we want to exclude sunday and i hit the okay 
amazing so we can see the date delivered so the last thing i'm going to do is to load it back to excel so come to the home tab click on the close and load tool okay then we have the import data wizard again now we want it to be delivered into a table so i'm going to choose table and we can actually specify where we want to put the data so we want this existing sheet one so let me just select the destination cell which is cell g1 and finally i'm going to click on ok amazing so we can see that we have excluded all the holidays and the weekends so let's calculate what's the total control shift down arrow key so we have 253 working days in the year 2020 that excludes all the weekends and all the official holidays so this is essentially how we achieve this result i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give some likes and remember to subscribe to my youtube channel for more powerful videos thank you and please do stay safe bye for now